Hello, this is a little intro into the new features of Lia script and we will update the documentation within the next weeks and uh, create videos uh, for all of this chapter uh, describing the new functionality. And as some of you might know, Lia script is based on an extended markdown format and uh, to present this or to demo this, uh, I use the Atom editor uh, with the Lia script previewer in here. So whenever I type something, it gets updated uh, within the live preview. And by default, you'll see an ordinary text format, but the user or the presenter uh, can uh, switch between three different uh, presentation modes. So textbook is the default mode, with just one page, and you can switch the presentation, for example, and then you can use this the same content, the same document uh, for presenting or for giving a talk or um, to be used uh, that can be used in a presentation. So whenever I skip to the next fragment or to the next one, those blocks uh, get visible or might disappear. So therefore, we use this uh, double curly braces notation to mark. Uh, at which point in time or at which fragment actually an element or a couple of blocks should appear and disappear and if you want to create a more as a narrative um, presentation so you can use those uh, curly braces with additional minuses this means that this content is actually belongs to fragment number two and gets spoken out loud so I now had switched off the sound but if you switch it on we can actually go back. There are a couple of problems that we currently see in the with Lear script. We try to implement an extent. And uh, you hear that's automatically outputted. So if you want to have more control uh, over your presentation, you can switch to the slides mode and you see all of these um, spoken text uh, on the right side. So, and this can be even used for navigating, which means there are a couple of problems that we currently see in the creation of open edge. Imagine a world where everyone would have the same access to high quality. So this is just a little way of organizing or creating your interactive documents. And um, I wanted to show this on a larger display because this view uh, is only visible on the desktop. Uh, if you have a smaller screen, so only the important part, which is spoken out loud at the moment, is shown to your audience and yeah. That's it.